Okay, well, there's a dying girl. She just called me over and uh, she just dug a lark set. It looks pretty clean. Can't quite see the date on it, but it looks like a matron. Okay, well, we'll work on that and we'll get it back later. Very good, we're on the board. And you know it's about to video when you see a large scent. <laughs> This is the large scent that Diane found uh, yesterday and after cleaning it I noticed something odd about it. Large scents very typically will have somewhat rotated reverses but if you notice this one is 180 degrees. The obverse the reverse. That's very unusual. Okay, thank you. Well, I finally got a, a good target. The signal wasn't the best. It was it was sort of crummy until I opened it up. And then it went to a 12-12 solid, and it's a nickel. As Hoover boys say, as I said before, if I got a nickel, I got a nickel. And it's a shield nickel. And uh, that's number eight. <laughs> and I got more shield nickels than I do have war nickels. I said that to my brother, and he says, well, we find what we look for, and I think he's right. We'll be back. Well, Diane called me over, gave me the Indian signal, the Indian sign. And she's rooting for the Cleveland Indians too. But she's got an Indian. It is very nice. And I think it's an 1872, which is a must be the second hardest date after the 77, uh, according to uh, Rick Snow's book, fine book on Indians. And uh, that's, a, that's a nice one. We'll be back with more. Matron. It's like 1830. Boy, it's sweet. I don't know if I have an 1830. Okay, very good. Yep, we'll be back with more. one signal and when I dug this out I saw this in the hole and I was thinking it was going to be a two cent piece 
because uh, two cent pieces come in quite often in the numbers. It's two, but it says two and a half. <laughs> so I'm assuming it's some kind of token. Uh, that side is pretty dirty. I think I see some things on it. Okay, well we'll get that cleaned up and find out what it is and hopefully we'll be back with more.